Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're in Vancouver, British Columbia here on the west coast of Canada and today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Canada because of a country like this it's so beautiful it's so much to do of course there's tons of stuff you do do but here we're going to talk about what you shouldn't do and the first don't I have for you as a tourist when you do come here to Canada is don't compare Canada to the US. Don't call it the 51st state. Don't say that Canadians are Americans unless you want to get a long list of the many reasons how the US and Canada are different because the locals will give you a very informative and very in-linked description of how the US and Canada are different. The thing is you might want to know all those differences but the thing is it's not going to make you a lot of friends if you do say that and it will not be appreciated by the locals. So that's the first thing. Now my second don't for you is don't try to talk with your Canadian accent, eh? Nobody's going to appreciate it, buddy. Look, don't try your Canadian accent. No one is going to appreciate that, okay? And also, what you'll see is when you travel around Canada, that stereotypical Canadian accent, no one really talks like that anymore. Yes, occasionally you hear a buddy and occasionally you hear an A, but in general, the Canadian accent that we hear on TV, like if you're thinking back to Strange Brew and stuff like that, doesn't really exist anymore. It's kind of like in the US, you hear a lot of people making America and stuff like that. You don't really talk like that anymore. It's really mixed up in the US, but it's also really like here in Canada, it's really mixed up. So you don't have that accent. So, so don't try your Canadian accent when you do come up here. Again, not super appreciated. And let's move into more don'ts that are really specifically for tourists. The next don't I have for you is don't skip the line. Don't line jump, don't queue jump, don't queue skip. However you say it, Canadians respect the line. Okay, so whether they're lining up for a bus or they're going into a, a store or going to the post office and things like that, Canadians get in the line, they form the line and they stay in the line. And people don't appreciate it when you try to butt in front or jump in front of it, okay? So don't skip the line. And the thing is, is especially if you're gonna be getting on public transport, our fourth don't is don't bum rush public transport. You know, I know other places around the world, it's like the doors open on a bus or the doors open on a metro or something like that. And everybody tries to run in and run out at the same time. Well, they're a little bit more civilized here in Canada, okay? So make sure you let people get off the bus or get off the sky train or the train or, or the metro or whatever. Let people get off before you get on, okay? So no bum rushing, okay? No, no, no group rushing onto the public transport, all right? Now the fifth don't I have for you is don't expect to hear a lot of French outside of Quebec. I know in the US we're taught that English and French are the two official languages of Canada and everybody learns them and everybody can speak them and things like that. Well, that's not actually, well, it's the truth that everybody learns it, but it's not, it's also the truth that not everybody speaks it, okay? So if you're going to be in Quebec and the province is by Quebec, yes, you will need some French. But outside of that, if you're in Vancouver, no, nah, you don't need it. Now my next don't has to do with safety for tourists and I'll be honest, in general, Canada and Canadian cities are super safe. You're gonna be fine walking around and enjoying yourself, but that, all, but that doesn't mean don't pay attention. So my thing is for you is don't forget about basic safety precautions when you do come here to Canada, because you know what? There are parts of different towns you, you don't wanna to go to. You know, downtown east side here in Vancouver, it's not really a place you wanna go as a tourist. And so you do wanna pay attention. So maybe ask, hey, is there any part here in Toronto we shouldn't go or in, in Vancouver or wherever, just to have a heads up. So though it is super safe, don't forget the basic safety things that tourists need to know. And that kind of leads into our next don't, which is kind of a safety thing is don't feed the animals. Look, when you come to Canada and I'll talk about them, there's amazing national parks and provincial parks and you're going to see so much nature around and you're going to see amazing nature animals as well. Yeah, there's bears up here. There's beavers. There's all kinds of stuff. Heck, we saw a black squirrel just running around. Don't feed the animals, okay? Unless you have something out against them because if you feed the animals, they come back to the same spot. They come back into the cities and stuff like that. So don't feed the animals because it can be dangerous for them and for you. Now my next don't for tourists is don't skip out on the gas stations and rest stops. Look, when you're coming to Canada, the country is huge, it's enormous. And when you're driving, you're gonna be driving for hours, okay? And the thing is, you may drive for hours, but there's not stops every 40 or 50 kilometers, okay? So you really have to plan ahead. So if you see a rest stop coming up and you're at a half a tank, I would say go in and fill up because when you have these big distances, it can be that you start getting worried. Am I, I going to have enough gas to get to the next one? So do pay attention for that because I know when we, drew, when we drove from PEI to Toronto, there's a lot you know, along the way. There's a few times I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm getting kind of worried, all right? So do fill up every chance you get. And the thing is, is when you do fill up your gas tank, our next don't is don't forget to fill up your tummy at Tim Hortons. Look, Tim Hortons is like, 
they've got sandwiches like nicer than Subway and they've got coffee like a Starbucks and they've got donuts like Dunkin Donuts but way better donuts Tim Hortons is a place you're gonna go and eat and stop at the rest stops and gas stations around Canada so don't skip out grab some Timbits or I just like their normal donuts or a sandwich or something like that so when you fill up that gas tank fill up your tummy as well. And speaking of filling up your tummy, my next don't for you when you come to Canada is don't eat from international chains, eat from Canadian chains and Canadian restaurants when you come up here because they have their own versions of all this fun, fantastic fast food kind of stuff that's really good. So whether you're grabbing a, burgers or a burger at Harvey's or you're heading to Tim Hortons or you're going to Swiss Chalet, there's a lot of restaurants you can hit up when you're driving around and enjoy. And yes, you should go to local mom and pop places. I mean, the food here is fantastic. You have so much immigration and so much culture that came here. And when people brought their culture, they also brought their spices. So the food is fantastic all over the country so don't hit the Starbucks hit the Tim Hortons don't hit the McDonald's hit the Harvey's these kind of things because you'll really get to experience some of the really great food that's here grab a beaver tail which is you know a fried dough with cinnamon sugar on it so good or of course you gotta have poutine which is french fries with cheese curds and gravy on top oh my god there's so many great little treats you can have and you have those at the Canadian restaurants not the international chains hit those up those Canadian chains and what's crazy is the Canadian chains I find it do a better job than a lot of their American counterparts back in the US. For example, a and I, I, I am not a fan of A&W, uh, the restaurants in the US, but in Canada, man, I'll take my kids to them like that. They're good, they're nice, and they've got root beer. Another great thing that Canada and the US do together, we both love root beer, always a nice thing. And so if you're going out to eat, you're gonna have really nice service when you are here, and that kind of leads us into the next don't of coming to Canada, and that is don't forget to tip your waiter. In Canada, you tip 15 to 20 percent to the wait staff. Like not at a fast food place, but if you're at a sit-down restaurant where they bring you your food and drinks and stuff like that, 15 to 20 percent is standard, okay? Leading off of that is our next don't. Don't expect the price to be what you actually pay. Here in Canada, they have sales tax, and you'll see different versions of it. You'll see a GST and a PST here in Vancouver, or you'll see HST over in Ontario. So basically, GST, goods and services tax, PST, provincial sales tax, HST, harmonized sales tax. So you have sales tax that are added on to the price at the end. So if it's, you know, 10 bucks for something, $10 for it, well, you're gonna pay, you know, 1150 because that's 15 percent if you got hst at 15 percent okay so just know don't think that that price is the last thing you're going to pay so sales tax plus tipping so prices don't expect them to always be what you actually pay here in canada now another don't i have for you and i've kind of mentioned this before is don't skip out on the national parks and the provincial parks throughout Canada. I know it's a huge country, so you're going to be staying in a different region when you see stuff. And if you see there's a provincial park or a national park nearby, hop in the car and go visit it. Because the views and the hikes or the skiing, there's so many options out there for you to enjoy snowshoeing and stuff like that. Whether you're, you know, you're going to Banff or you're going, you know, Banff is great, okay? You're going out to PEI because the nature here is right, the, for me, the nature of Canada is the real reason why you come here. I mean, don't get me wrong, Toronto is an awesome city to visit, but you know, when you got a place like Vancouver, it's actually the nature you wanna see, not the skyscrapers, and so get out and enjoy that, okay? So don't think it's just a city tour, city visit of Toronto and Montreal when you're coming here to Canada. The nature is the true star of this country. My next don't for you is don't freak out about the prices. Now I know, HGTV has taught us that Canada has insane prices. Yeah, that's only in real estate, okay? If you're looking at actual going out to eat and things like that in hotels, I find the prices here in Canada to be comparable to the US and Western Europe, so it's not an expensive vacation, it's not a cheap vacation, it's just an average vacation, okay? So don't freak out about the prices. I know HGTV makes it a million dollars for a one bedroom, 300 square foot place here in Vancouver. Well, yeah, probably, but for you as a tourist, no, okay? Prices, don't freak out about them, all right? And speaking of the money, don't throw away your coins. Look, in Canada, they actually have coins that are worth something. They have a $1 coin and a $2 coin, the loony and the toonie. I'll let you guess which one's the one and the two, all right? And those are actually worth something. Like you can get stuff with that. So when you get all your change in your pocket before you leave, don't just throw it out. See what you have. I mean, today we pay for our breakfast in coins, okay? So you do have valuable coins, so don't just throw them away. But also, don't expect to see pennies. They don't have pennies here, so you can't really flip it in for good luck or, or flip it in to make a wish, so there is that. My next note for you here in Canada is, which should be obvious everywhere in the world, but here especially, 
don't forget your manners. Look, you're going to hear sorry and a lot of apologies when you are here in Canada. And what you find is the longer you stay here, you start saying sorry, sorry, sorry a lot more. It's like, oops, I bumped into this inanimate object. I feel I must say sorry to it. You do have that kind of polite apology, sorry nature here. So don't worry if you become more apologetic while you are here, but don't forget your manners because when people say sorry, you know, tell them, hey, no worries, man. It's all good. No problem. All right. So you have that. Now, my next don't for you, and it should be obvious by watching this video is don't think that Canada is just ice and snow all year round. I'll be honest, we spent a summer traveling through Canada a few years ago with a family. It was fantastic. We were from Prince Edward Island and we, we were in Quebec City and we were outside enjoying stuff and it was warm, it was beautiful, it was sunny. You have this great weather here in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, you have good weather. Yeah, in the winter, no, it's cold and crappy. Actually, except for here in Vancouver, which is rainy, it doesn't actually snow very much here in Vancouver, huh? Shocking, I know. But the thing is, don't think it's always ice and cold and stuff like that, all right? Know that, man, if you come here from May through September, you can have a great family vacation and enjoy yourself. I mean, we're here in May in Vancouver. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and loving it. I mean, I'm actually getting sunburned, so I actually need to put a hat on. So just, just have a heads up for that one. Anyway, I hope this helps you know a few things you don't do as a tourist when you come here to Canada. It's a fantastic place. Whether you're coming here to Vancouver, hitting up Winnipeg, you go to Toronto, PEI, Nova Scotia. There's so many great things to see from Niagara Falls to the, to the national parks, the provincial parks. But for me, the people are what makes it so great. The people are so nice. So don't forget to meet the locals. Though it shouldn't be a problem because they'll come and chat you up. No problem whatsoever about all kinds of great topics. Anyway, I hope you have a great time here in Canada. If you want to learn more, five things you'll love and hate about visiting Canada, 10 things that'll shock you about coming to Canada. Maybe you want to know a little bit about Vancouver before you come. Maybe five love and hates of Quebec City or Montreal or Toronto or PEI. We've got all kinds of videos about Canada. If you look on our Canada lit playlist on our YouTube channel, we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you click that subscribe button, you'll get new travel videos like this every Wednesday and Saturday. Anyway, I'll say bye from Vancouver. Have a great time when you are here in Canada, but don't worry, you will. Bye from Vancouver.